Hi everyone, Sam Smyers here. Have you ever wanted to create a great house based sound with stock plugins? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that with Ableton's operator plugin. I'm gonna walk you through how to create a deep house based sound, a UK house based sound, a future house based sound, and then an old school house based sound. So stick around till the end of the video to see how it's done. Here are the four different bass sounds that I'm gonna to make today. Let me play that with some drums. Let's start with the first bass sound. This is a basic deep house bass sound. Let me go ahead and close these and turn them off. I'm going to insert a new MIDI track. Then I'm going to insert operator on it. We are only going to use oscillators A and B so we can turn off the C and D oscillators. Let me go ahead and click on this tab. Each of operator's oscillators can either output its signal directly or use its signal to modulate another oscillator. So at the top are predefined algorithms to determine how the oscillators are connected. So the B oscillator is going to be modulating the A oscillator. So I will leave this first algorithm selected. On oscillator A, let's go ahead and put the level at negative five dB. Set the attack time to one millisecond. Then we'll leave the decay at 600 milliseconds, and then I'll make the sustain at negative 10 dB. Let me go ahead and copy over the MIDI and play that. Let's go ahead and move on to oscillator B. I will set the level to negative 11 dB, then the decay to about one second. And then I'm gonna turn the sustain all the way down. Let's go ahead and listen to that. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and turn up the course knob to two and play that back. So that's basically the sound that we're going for. And I can turn up this spread knob to give the sound a little bit of a chorus effect. So I'm gonna put that at about 40%. So that is the basic FM Deep House bass sound. Let me label that FM Deep House Bass. So now I can alter this sound a little bit to give it that UK house bass sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the track. Solo this track. I'm gonna to go to the filter section and I'm going to set the frequency at six kilohertz. And then the resonance at 20, so I will leave it at 20. And then I'm going to go to the envelope. This percentage, I'm going to turn this down to negative 70. And basically this is flipping the envelope. Let me play that with track. So now we have both a deep house bass sound and a UK house bass sound. Let me go ahead and label this FM UK house bass. So now let's go ahead and create a future house bass sound. I am going to duplicate this track and I'm going to open up a new instance of operator. Let's go to this tab and select the second algorithm for the sound. Oscillators C and D will be modulating oscillator B, which will then modulate oscillator A. Let's go ahead and set the level of oscillator A to negative seven dB. Then the decay to about 400 milliseconds and the sustain to about negative 12 dB. Now on oscillator B, let's go ahead and set the level to negative 20 dB, the decay to about 750 milliseconds and the sustain to negative five dB. On oscillator C, let's set the course knob to three the level to negative 20 dB, the decay to five seconds, and then let's go ahead and turn the sustain all the way down. If 
Finally, on oscillator D, let's go ahead and set the course knob to 12, the level knob to negative 20 dB, the decay to about 700 milliseconds, and the sustain, let's go ahead and turn that all the way down. Great, so we're almost there with this sound. Let me go ahead and turn up the spread to about 40% to give it a bit of a chorus sound. Then I'm going to go ahead and turn up this tone knob to 100%. So that is going to be a basic Future House bass sound in Operator, and I can add a Overdrive plugin to give it a bit more brightness. So on this Overdrive plugin, I'm going to set this to 4 kilohertz, and then I'm going to set this Q to 2. And then I'm going to set the dry wet to about 30%. Right, so that is a future house bass sound. Let me go ahead and really label this to FM future house bass. Now let's make an old school filter type bass sound. I'm going to do this by duplicating this future house bass sound and then adjusting some of the settings. I'm going to take away the overdrive plugin. And then I'm going to set the spread back to zero. And I'm going to go to the filter, and I'm going to set the frequency of the filter to 500 hertz. Then I'm going to set the resonance to about 30%. And then I'm going to set the filter type to OSR, which is going to add a little bit of distortion. And I'm going to turn up this drive a little bit. Let's go ahead and play that. Now for the filter, I'm going to go to the envelope, and I'm going to set the envelope to 25%. So now the filter is going to open up a bit at the beginning of the sound and then clamp down shortly thereafter. Let's go ahead and play that. The last thing that I want to do for this old school house bass sound is I want to go back to oscillator A and change the sustain to negative 20 dB. So now let's go ahead and relabel this to FM Old School House Bass. Now we can go back to all four of these bass sounds and listen to them. Now that we have all four of these bass sounds, we can save these settings as presets. So I can go to FM Deep House Bass, go to this little icon that looks like a floppy disk, and then save it as FM Deep House Bass. Then I can go to this FM UK House Bass, hit the floppy disk, save it. Let's go to the Future House Bass. What I can do here is I can group the overdrive with the operator, and then Hit the floppy disk icon for the instrument rack, and now save this instrument rack as FM Future House Bass. Now to the old school house bass, hit the floppy disk icon, and we will enter FM Old School House Bass. And I will move this down. So now we have all four of these FM bases. So anytime that I want to go and create a house song, I have these four presets to work with. So there you have it. Those are four FM house bass sounds that you can create using Ableton's operator plugin. I created a deep house bass sound, a UK house bass sound, a future house bass sound, and an old school house bass sound, all using a stock plugin. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.